Hi everyone and welcome to Outdoor Education. My name is uh, Ilya Carter and I'm in charge of running the Outdoor Education program here at Emmaus College. Now what we do in this semester subject is we teach our students all about the outdoor environment. Uh, we look at topics like uh, navigation, risk management, uh, nutrition and cooking, all in preparation for our two major camps to the Cathedral Range State Park and the Lower Glenelg uh, River. We also uh, spend some time looking at the impact that humans are having on the outdoor environment and what we can do to prevent harm to these environments. So it's a fantastic subject. Uh, there's a lot more information up on MLink, uh, but if you do have any questions regarding this subject, then please uh, get in contact with me either via phone or email. Now I thought we'd finish off with a couple of uh, testimonials from some previous students who uh, did this subject over the last couple of years. So please enjoy the next following videos and hope to see you in outdoor education in the future. Thanks. Outdoor education was probably one of my favourite subject choices in year 10 as it went over one semester and there was no exam for it. The camping was really good. Yeah, um, classes were good as well, you know, instead of like normal classes, you're sitting there like, doing boring and stuff, like actually learning about stuff, it's interesting. There's a lot of group activities as well, so you're not always in a classroom all the time, it's pretty good. And then camping, just hanging out with your mates, spend like a week off school, even though like you're still learning stuff, but like it's a lot more relaxed and you know, you learn a bit about yourself, not being on your phone and stuff as much, so. Yeah, your phones get taken off you, there's really no reception. But it's not even that bad. Like, yeah. you find other ways to entertain yourself and it's good. Like, freedom. It's weird, like, maybe the first day and you get, get over it and it's pretty good. It's pretty chill. And this part does a good yeah. job. It's a little legend, so. Yeah. And you get pretty much, pretty like, if your friends are doing the subject as well, you can sometimes choose um, groups, which is really good. You get a, everyone gets a role. So, like, some days you'll be the leader, some days you'll be the cleaner, some days you'll be like all that like the alarm clock person because there's no technology so someone has to be up um just cooking and everything which is really good and it's all done yourself you learn a lot about yourself about independence individuality and like your capabilities yeah yeah but i would recommend it's pretty good two thumbs up Hi, I'm Cardia and this is Alyssa and we chose Outdoor Ed in Year 10. We highly recommend that you pick this subject because you meet so many new friends and get so many new experiences. During the camps you learn lots about the outdoors and explore heaps of Victoria. This includes things such as like cooking on your own, buying your food, going canoeing, um, going to drop toilets and stuff like that. Um, one of my favourite experiences was the dawn paddle that we did on the first camp, the week camp, and we were able to witness the sunrise and all of the noises of the birds. Um, one of my favourite things about the whole outdoor experience is just it's such a chill subject and you just get to hang out with your friends and go on camps. It's just such a fun experience that you never get to experience again in high school. G'day, my name's Harry Williamson and I'm a Year 11 student. Uh, and last year, hands down, outdoor ed was one of my favourite classes. Uh, it was so fun, not only because Carter's such an amazing teacher, but all the camps that we did, everything that we learnt from uh, navigating a map to setting up a tent, all the different projects that we got to do. It was so fun. Uh, so I, I encourage every single student who's seeing this to put your name down. There is a little bit of effort that you got to put into it, especially on the camps, but at the end of the day, looking back, it, it, it was such an amazing time. Um, all of it was pretty good. Um, you know, I've been hiking over the five day camp. Um, it's, you know, we set up our own tents just tent camping, which I really enjoy. Um, so if you enjoy getting outdoors, um, just doing the rougher camping, it's pretty good. Yeah. A bit oh. more, yeah. A bit more hands on when you're out of the classroom. Like, it's not book work. You do a few assignments, but it's not like textbook stuff. So. Yeah, well, for me personally, like, some stuff that I like was, you know, not, actually, no, I could set up a tent. Yeah. Like, you know, just being, you know, be able to show yourself that, like, you can actually go camping, you know, it's actually kind of motivated me to go camping more often. Like, I don't go often enough. I've been, well, due to outdoor ed, three times. So, besides from that, really, I don't go camping, but I really should go out more because it really shows you, like, life skills of how to do yeah, stuff. Yeah. And, um, the, like, you got to orientate a map and you got to 
find your own way. So the teachers help you a little bit, but it's mainly all you. It's really being independent. Yeah, independence. What was your favourite bit of from the camp? Probably the five day camp. That was one fun. Camp. Yeah. Did you learn anything about yourself, Joe? Oh, you know, I learned that I can set up a tent and just all these basic skills, you know, you want to have in life. Um, you really get from the two camps that you do. So you, you, you do the five day camp and you do a two day camp. Um, and they're both really good camps, both really, you know, eye opening. Very good experience overall. Yeah, it just felt like it was really good to just have the both camps. It spans over seven days, you know, you do a two day and a five day. But really just like the five day, you know, really just builds bonds between like your group of people. Yeah. Like me, me and Jack were in the same class, so we had Mr. Eddington as our teacher and Miss Brown. Yep. So it was really good to be able to get to know them better, as well as also get to know everybody else who was in our group, you know, in different, you know, just being able to, you know, be really friendly with everyone, just get it, yeah. get along really good. And you were in the other group, more good. Yeah. But a lot of new friendships, get to meet some new people if you haven't talked to them much. And Miss Carter has been running this program for many years and I'm very proud of it. Mm. Um, you know, he takes a lot of pride in this camps and this whole program. Um, so he really puts all of himself into it and it's really good. All of his equipment is top notch, the tents, the sleeping mats, everything he has, the trangiers to cook with. Also, you get to um, you have to be really creative in your group to be able to you get a big backpack and you've got to fit everything in there. Yeah. Including clothes as well as other little things that like the team needs, you know, such as the poop chute. Yep. The wash buckets. <laughs> Yeah, the tarp, the stuff for people to carry, so they need yeah. everyone has to carry that stuff. But also, you got to pack your food for five days. Yeah. I found that was a bit of a challenge personally, yeah. to think of four, think of three day, for every day, three meals a day, plus snacks. Yes, yeah. we're some big boys and we all need to eat, so we're all pretty hungry most of the time. How did you find doing all this food shopping? Yeah, it was alright. Um, just get the cheap stuff in bulk. You got to all fit it in your bag though, so. That Go make sure that things are right there. Yeah, because yeah. me, me and you, we went shopping to Coles together. Yeah. And that was really good. The best thing we bought was the Milo, but until that ran out, that was oh, pretty yeah. sad. We ran out of Milo on the last day. But the five day camp is definitely a lot more like labor intensive than yeah. the two day camp. Like it, you do, you only get that one bag, you gotta fit everything in. Um, you go on hikes every day, like kilometre, kilometre yeah. hikes. 12K. 12K, 12K over the 5 days. Canoeing as well. Canoeing, yeah. yeah. That was fun. Yeah, yeah you can play some fun games in canoeing. Yeah, but then the two day camp, um, you know, you get to bring your own bag. You, you can pack whatever you want. Um, well, it's only two days, you only two days. so much food, it's all going to be fine. You know, there's not really much hiking, it's just kind of sitting around camp with your mates, just yeah. having a good time. Yeah. So it's really good. Doing climbing time, you learn how to orientate a map. Um, so we just got a big map and you have to orientate it to know, you know, which way everything is. This way is more crazy. Yeah. So learn how to read a map and all the different lines and coordinates. coordinates. Also um, work out on a map how big a trail is or a path. Yep. Work out the hill terrain. Yeah, how inclined, so how tall the hill is. Incline, decline. Because um, that also helps when we're, when we're doing our hikes on our five day and two day camps. Yep. You know, just to make sure you know that like if you're going up a hill, you know, all this type of stuff, you know, how much extra it's going to be. And on these camps, you had to, each hike had a different person leading it. Yeah. So you had to direct yourself, and if you got lost, that was on you. Um, like, obviously, the teacher could get you back on course, but they left it up to you to it's find really your way. Really just independent yeah. stuff. Now, um, oh, about classes and stuff, you know, just about the climate, you know, learning about the different types of climates. We did an assignment on it. Yep. Uh, we made the outdoor dioramas about them, you know, just yeah. about shoebox. So in a shoebox, in you a made, shoebox. You, everyone chose a climate and then you had to make a diorama about it. So that was a good, good experience. Yeah, just to be able to just make different climates, learn about different stuff because, well, in Melbourne we do have plenty of climates and different weather, but to learn about what other countries and, you know, different places go through their climates is really good and really interesting, which is why you should pick the outdoor ed. Yep.